Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, and I want to welcome you to this week's short video. Glad you're tuning in. Uh, this one is titled, Are You Engaged? In Mark 3.14, it says, He ordained twelve, Jesus ordained twelve, that they should be with him and that he might send them forth to preach. And I've always uh, been impressed with the order there. The first thing he wanted was just that they would be with him. And then later on, they were sent forth to share Jesus. But first of all, he wanted them to just be with him. He called them to do life together with him. And, you know, pretty much without fanfare and, and a lot of times very privately. Uh, we learn so much from just being with Jesus by doing what the Bible says, beholding the Lamb, you know, examining him, looking at him thinking about him, seeing him, especially in the Gospels. And, uh, you know, pretty soon after G those words were spoken in Mark 3, 14, that he ordained 12, that they should be with him, pretty soon he, he began to send them out. And uh, in Mar Matthew 4, 19, he, he said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I like that word, make you. You know, transformation begins to happen in God's people when they really get to know Jesus and receive his love, uh, they begin to want to share that with others. Not because they have to, but because they want to. And he motivates them to do that. In Proverbs 27, 17, it says, Iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. And I remember my dad, you know, sometimes when we would sit down to a Thanksgiving dinner, we had a large family and the turkey would be there that mom fixed. And and dad would be getting ready to carve it and he would take his, uh, you know, carving knife and, and go back and forth on this steel sort of uh, bumpy little thing uh, to sharpen it. And, and, and I remember the sound of that back and forth and he would sharpen that knife. And, you know, the first thing that has to happen for uh, that sharpener to sharpen the knife is they have to come together. And um, so, you know, God wants to bring us together. Um, you know, with people. Uh, and as you look around, you, who has God placed in your life that he may use you to engage with and do life together? Uh, I remember the title of this is, Are You Engaged? And, you know, I was thinking about one friend of ours. She's a single uh, lady and, you know, getting close to retirement age now, but has always found people to relate to and bless and hang with. And um, she even went so far as buying a van. She doesn't need a van. She's just a single lady. But she bought that so that she could help a transportation-challenged family just get around, go go wherever they needed to go. And she's become like an aunt to them. And she just, she bought this van just for that purpose. So that's really great um, what she's doing. Mentoring can happen in such a beautiful, natural way uh, as we just spend time with those God leads us to. It, it doesn't have to be like a, a big manual, step-by-step, -step, how to, this is what you do next and do this. It's just hanging together. Uh, Matthew 5, 14, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You know, people catch so much from just being with someone else who knows the Lord. Um, Maybe you can think of some of the believers that God has used to bless and encourage you during your life. Um, mostly they were just being themselves and doing uh, that while they were with you. They were just being themselves, and but they left a lasting impression on you. Maybe you knew them for a very short time, maybe for a longer time. Um, so uh, I want to share a song. Um, you know, when you get older, uh, a lot of your songs are oldies. This is an oldie, but I hope it's still a goodie. And I want to share this song. It's by uh, written by Buddy Green and uh, Niles Borop. There's two speakers, two 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 people in this song. I hope it doesn't confuse you. Um, it's one guy calling another. So one of the voices will be the guy on the phone. The other voice will be uh, the guy that he called. So they switch back and forth a little bit. So I hope you can follow that. <laughs> Well, hello there, friend. I've called you again to see how you're dealing with today. 
I just thought you might like to know that I was here to love you in a brotherly way. But you can tell me about your pain, and tell me about your gain, and tell me everything is doing fine. I just want to be your friend, cause buddy you're a brother of mine. Well, I'm so glad that you called, I was just about to fall I needed a reminder of the fact that I've been born again And free from sin, and I never ever have to go back To the time when I struggled all alone with my troubles A time that I want to leave behind I'm so glad that you called, it tells me you're a brother of mine Brother of mine, there's more to being friends than this old world would have us believe. There are burdens to share with a lot of love and care, and time humbled on our knees. And I think we both know it's the only way to grow. We gotta learn to lay it on the line. Because you're more than a friend, buddy, you're a brother of mine. Friend, you really know me well, and I'm glad you could tell The Lord really wanted you to call Yeah, we both know, brother, there could always be another chance Either one of us might fall And the next time around, if it's you who is down And me who is calling you to find That you really need a friend, yeah, I'll always need you, brother of mine Brother of mine, there's more to being friends than this old world have us believe there are burdens to share and a lot of love and care and time humbled on our knees and I think we both know it's the only way to grow we gotta learn to lay it on the line cause you're more than a friend buddy you're a brother of mine yes you're more than a friend buddy you're a brother of mine Amen. You know, God has made us brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, and uh, God has a family. The Bible says God sets the solitary in families, and, you know, with today's uh, screen time that everybody does a lot of, you know, we tend to kind of isolate, and COVID makes that worse, and, and we get really separate and, you know, kind of just private and individual and isolated, and, and so, you know, um, today, you know, I, I just really want to pray uh, that we would get engaged um, more if, if we need to be. Uh, and it's great to have mentors, and it's also great to be a mentor. Everybody should have mentors and be a mentor. Just doing life with one another. Uh, it's so needed and beneficial to both parties and to the kingdom of God. Uh, so, you know, I, I want to pray right now, and, and I want you to pray with me. Because, um, you know, you, you'll see people I'll never see, and I'll see people you'll never see. I live where you'll never see the people I live with, and vice versa. I'll never see the folks you live around and um, those that are nearby. So let's pray that God is going to help us do life together with those people that he sends us to, that he wants to link us up to. Uh, let's pray together right now and do that. Father, thank you that... Um, Jesus ordained 12, and he just wanted them to be with him. And boy, did they pick up things and learn things from being with you, Lord Jesus. And then you sent them out. And uh, Father, I, I thank you that we have the same opportunity and the same calling, really, to to come to you, to be with you, to get to know you, Lord. And, and then, Lord, that you can kindle in us a, a, a desire and a mission and a calling to go out and be with others that need you, that, that need to be blessed, that need need you, Jesus. Lord, would you make us a blessing to those around us? Would you help us to see them, Lord? Father, give us uh, creative ways to engage them, whether through phone calls or, or even sending an email to them or a card or just spending time, maybe going out uh, on a hike with them or going out for coffee, whatever it might be, going to visit them, taking them with us somewhere. Father, help us to not isolate, but to engage, be engaged with those that you want us to be with. And help us not to uh, try to force anything or do it in an unnatural way, but just help us to be close to you and to be ourselves with them and care about them. And may they be blessed. May they give you glory. 
Father, use us in this beautiful, natural way, I pray. Grow your kingdom, Lord, through relationships like this. Lord, bless and strengthen all of the churches uh, that we may be attached to through this kind of thing, Lord. Engage us, Lord, and thank you, Lord, for engaging us with you. Thank you for causing us to be born again and become members of your family. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in to these short videos. I really appreciate you. And if you're led, you can go ahead and subscribe so you can make sure you get future ones. And God bless you. God's love be with you and overflow to others. I hope you have a great week.